Hello everybody out there in the internet, welcome to Taken and Buff Save the Universe, episode number 46. It yes, is, nailed the number! It is, I nailed it this time. It is March 31st, 2022. I'm Chris Adams, joined by... Buff Larkin, oh Tekken, the things we do for technology. We, we used to do this through Skype, then Skype's giving you a whole bunch of hassles, so therefore you're on, now, now you're on Facebook now, the messenger, and recording from there. Oh, what can you not do? I tell you, you can do everything. Everything. Mm, I don't know about everything. Uh, close enough. Anyways, uh, we are here today to talk about a whole bunch of different kind of stuff. Um, I have one particular question for Tekken. Uh, he is, uh, or Chris Adams. Or, yeah, sh- I messed up my intro because it's been too long, and it's like, well, it hasn't been too long. I just, like, in my brain, I'm thinking about Chain with Tekken later. But I guess I don't call myself that. Whatever, dude. I effed it up. Whatever. Chris happens to take a master. We all know who even, I am. Whatever. Even, even, even thinking about Sasha Banks. <laughs> That's, what Shut up. That's what you're saying. What? Okay. So here's here. Okay. So just to, to break it off right now, Sasha Banks is SmackDown's leading person when it comes to viewers, apparently. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, every time she's on, ratings go up. When Roman Reigns comes on, they go up, but not as high as Sasha Banks. Yet, let's look at where we're at at WrestleMania, where, where, where Roman Reigns is in the main event against Brock Lesnar, and rightfully so, because that is what's selling this pay-per-view. Because if you were to tell me any other match, I would laugh in your face and say, that's the reason people are watching. No, this is the reason they're watching is because of Roman and Brock unifying the titles. Now, Sasha Banks, who is actually a better ratings draw, than uh, Roman Reigns on SmackDown, she has been relegated to the, what, four corners tag team match for the women's tag belts. Uh What kind of travesty are we living in? (laughs) What kind of world do we live in, Tekken? I don't even know how to respond to that, so... Exactly, exactly. Also, it's a fatal four-way, not four corners, okay. Men are pigs, that's all I'll say. (laughs) Men are pigs. I am about to take flight, Tekken. You know this. I'm about to go down to America. Tomorrow, I get up at 4 in the morning. I leave my town at 5. I get to Toronto for, I don't know, uh, 7. I fly out at 9. I hit Vegas at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it's a day of just getting ready for the big race, which is the next day at 6 in the morning half marathon 13 miles plus point point whatever and then and then it is heading down the strip in vegas i'm i can't wait to see the cops crew out there recording all the bad stuff maybe i'll get on cops you never know that's that's my goal if i can get on cops then i know my life is complete did they even have cops on anymore did they cancel that it's it's streaming now it's streaming now? Yeah. Good. Ah, that show built my childhood. Cops. Watching people running around all over the place. Yeah, that was great. But anyways, that's my adventure for this week. That's my adventure. What is your adventure, Tekken? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I mean, I mean... I don't have anything concrete right now, but uh, I'm trying to get out of here. So that's, you know, keep it, yeah. keep it simple. That's the basic. Keep it simple, but make sure you have all your T's and all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. That's the key. So that when you go, you can slide right in and you don't have to wrote anything. That's the key. That's the key. Cause you don't want to get stopped at the border because then you, then you have to go all the way back and then nope, that's not going to happen. Then you, then you have to become a refugee, and we don't want that either. So that's right. And then you start fighting everybody. And then there's going to be a rage in the cage. Right? Right. <laughs> Anyways, this has gone off the, tra- the tracks real quick. So my, te- my question to you, Tekken, is what is going on with the Midnight Suns game? I don't know. 
I've now checked. I said, wait You're a second. You're on Twitter. You should just tweet them and be like, hey, when's it coming out? Or like, when's the release date? Or like, what the F is like, what, like when, what? Why is it? Why is the placeholder date not been updated? It's the last day of March, mother effers. Mother effers. Yeah. Well, I I Where's checked my game it out. <laughs> that well, last night I checked. It was March the thirtieth. I said, you know something? We're almost done at the end of the month, and this game was supposed to be out in March. And so I checked it, and now they say Q three or Q four <laughs> of twenty twenty two. Oh, that's great. That's not March. That's not March at all. Now and and to be honest, we're talking about, like well, we're talking about uh, you know the Sony Q three and Q four would be at the end of March and that'd be fine, but this is another company it could I literally be uh, September or October. So what the hell happened is my question. Well, you know, if you're lucky by December thirty first, two thousand twenty two, you might be playing it or it gets delayed until next year. So I guess we'll see. So that's my question, Tech. Am I now finally feeling the pain that you have felt for so long? Yes. Okay. Does it really does it really feel like a burning sensation in your groin? Uh, no. Oh, maybe something else then. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Anyway, so that's my big beef for this month. Um, for in regards to video games, I finished off uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Me too. I, Yes, and and, uh, and I've already read your uh, pure hatred drivel on it. So that was great. not even a hate, dude. That was like, eh, I know it's okay. When when I first talked to you about it, and you know this because we've had this conversation, I said I liked it. I'm not quite sure if he would like it. And and now we look at it, and you, it it didn't match Tekken's code of standards. Okay, that's not even true. Okay, I said the game was good, not great. All right, that's not even. I didn't say anything negative about it, except for the fact that the combat gets dull by the end. <laughs> except, I mean, that being that's, said, that's, that's not that's not saying something bad. That's just a critique, and it's true because it's like by the end of it, you're kind of like, okay, I kind of, I kind of don't really want to fight any more things because I've I fought so many things, and it kind of I I'm doing the same thing over and over when I fight stuff. So it's not really like I need to. I mean, you don't need to change the tactics. It probably you know is a you might have a funner time if you're like oh this these work this it's like it's whatever dude i didn't i didn't find like mixing and matching powers and like whatever the f the like against enemies was like worth the time to be like oh works what works better here it's like if i can just do one thing get through the game i'm not gonna like switch it up to like just have like a bit easier of a time in the combat when it's not really that hard to begin with so it's like okay whatever so. what was your favorite finisher uh what what do you mean well you Which, know what are the finishers? Had to... i, I kind of like forgot like is that the thing where you push triangle and circle, or is that something else? No, that's something else. You know, if the finish, well, I guess that'd be nice too. But I'm talking about the special gifts they have for all the different, all the different characters, right? So which, like, hey, you press. Oh, you, know, you mean like the, the little, like their little individual summon things? Yes. Oh, yeah. Which I one think, did you like? Hmm. My favorite. I'm. I guess it's between. I guess it's between Rocket and his giant gun and Gamora. With her, like, <laughs> Her first thing that you get because it does like a done it, it like does heavy damage and you can just like it's like really effective throughout the game so it's like just like you get instant heavy damage boom so so they gave that to you at the start yeah just so to give yourself a, an easier time through the game i guess would you think that i mean i guess whatever i don't know yeah well, you're the gamesman that's all <laughs> fast you well, know i don't know you, what their design philosophy you, was of like why they did that so if I they guess. had a sequel but if you don't even, like, get all the thingies at the beginning anyway. You have to, like, slowly... Or, like, you don't even get access to everybody until, like, a couple chapters in, so... Yeah. And uh, did you get all the outfits? No. Okay. I might go back and get the outfits. Yeah, dude, I was like... After I, after I got to the end and I got and I saw New Game Plus, I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to play this again. So I was like, maybe I should just delete this and, like, get the storage back. Because I'm like... Wow. Is it even going to, like... Because it's like, I kind of want to go through and make different choices, but I'm like... Eh, like I don't really care enough, so no. I, I it, enjoy my outfits. time, and I don't it's need outfits. to like have the game overstay its welcome, and then be like, "Yeah, this game's trash." So you know, how, how many how many trophies uh, do you still need to get? I don't know. I'd have to check. Okay, that's good as long as you know. Uh, yeah, I like I like the fact that the now this is spoilers for anybody who hasn't played the game. I like the wow, fact that spoil the spoil game. Yeah, I'm well, I guess it's it. from last year, so it's like it's your loss. Yeah, even I finished. I, I like the fact that they ended the game 
but it wasn't the end of the game. That was nice. Oh, I didn't hear I that too. I, I got faked out on that because I was like, man, this is the credits. That's okay. And then, and then and all of a sudden you see Magus put in the, uh, it all of a sudden sneak into this. Well, it was like, it was that. interesting because like it kept like, it was like all glitching out on the credits as like the name kept popping up. So I was like, that's kind of weird. But then uh, I didn't think anything of it. And it's like, oh. Yes. Adam Warlock, he's a piece of trash. That's a. Oh, like you got to say to yourself, why do why would people like Adam Warlock? And the fact that he's going to be in the new pi- uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the new Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, <laughs> the new Guardians of the Galaxy makes me wonder what they're going to do with him, right? So Space Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, look at you! That should be that should be a book you write. Space Pirates of the Caribbean, Space Pirates of the Universe. There you go. I think I think I think you're doing very good for yourself, um, but yeah. So but it'll, it'll be interesting to see how they they play off Adam Warlock in the next uh, in the next book. So that's good in the next movie. Uh, and yeah, of course you haven't seen Moon Knight. Moon Knight came out uh, yesterday, the very first episode. It was very good. I can see I can see where people would not like it if they if they just wanted to see superheroes. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. But uh, I, but I would, but if you if you like character development and all that, this is actually a very good show. I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. So, and of course they leave you with a nice little cliffhanger. So I, I it, really, it it makes me want to watch next week for sure. And Moon Knight has always been one of my favorite guys. Um, and so it, it it they they made sure to make him not like Mar. Everybody teases that he's Marvel's Batman. Right, so they had to kind of tweak him up a little bit by giving him some, you know, different things, psychological things. But at the end, it was very good. He's Moon Knight's Moon Knight. He he'll never be a top tier hero, but he'll be a, but he's a good uh, mid card, as you like to say, Tekken. Good mid card character for sure. And that's good. What do you think about what? About anything. <laughs> about Adam Warlock. Oh, do, do you want to know what? So they have uh, Morbius. They are on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, they have the uh, Rotten Tomato rating for his movie uh, after, I think, what, 67 or something like that uh, reviews. What do you think the percentage is of the movie? What? Well, what do you think the movie got out of a rating of 100? I mean, I saw on Twitter someone put up a 17, so... I don't yeah. Know still that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, that's what I saw. So it's like, Ey. But I knew it. I knew it, Tekken. But isn't that my... the critics' score? Yeah. So my sti- maybe my, people will my, like it more than the critics did, because they're all like... Oh, my stinky sense. My stinky sense is tingling. <laughs> my stinky sense is tink- tinkling. Tink- tinkling uh, uh, there, Tekken. <laughs> by, saying, by saying, I knew it was a stink movie... Because in the trailer, they, the guy goes, oh, "Who are you?" He goes, "I'm Venom," and he goes, and the guy goes, "Ah, no, 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 I'm just I'm Michael Morbius." Like, who the f- who cares? That's the stupidest line in the whole wide world. Nice to meet you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Like, glad ah, you don't put that in the trailer. That's horrible. That's trash. So, good luck, Morbius. Uh, there'll be a stake in your heart soon. That's my official critique. Okay. And anyways, uh, so what games have you been playing this week? Now that you've officially gotten rid of that stench of a game, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, what else, what else are you doing? Um, well, I haven't really been playing much of anything, and then Grand Turismo Seven was ruined by the last patch, so I've been. So explain, only... okay. So please explain what what happened to cause the patch, and what happened with the patch. Okay, so basically, before the patch, you could just grind out, you know, certain courses to get credits to get cars i mean you still could after the patch but it's like you had to use remote plane it's like dude i'm not i'm not jumping through hoops to do that so it's like it's not worth it it's not worth the time it's a waste of time so now after the patch it's basically like they uh nerfed all the um well not well yeah pretty much all the good grinding <laughs> events to get credits so you could get cars and actually have enough to like afford them in game and it's like it was kind of a, a very cheap ploy to try to steer people towards microtransactions but i didn't do that so i was like f this game and i just stopped when i didn't stop playing it i've only been i've i still play but i only play it to get the daily um 
roulette wheel spin thing because it's like if you get like 26 miles or something drive for 26 miles you get like a free roulette ticket that yeah that's the thing roulette ticket and then you use you can use that but there's like different rarities it goes from like one to six stars the higher the stars the better the rewards but it's usually trash because it's always just like like nice. five or six things on a little wheel and it spins what well, doesn't spin there's like a spotlight that goes around and it selects something that's a reward and it's usually like it's just it's just like the, the rewards aren't good on it and then like so the odds are like one in six are of like you getting like a car or like a decent reward but then there's like stuff on there that's like a random upgrade for a car that you might not even own and it's just like the the, the, the loot table for that is just not good and it's usually not landing on the good stuff like i've gotten like maybe i want to say like three cars out of like well i, have, I think the game is not like a month so like out of like over 30 of like the flipping things i've done it's like i've gotten like three cars which is like one in ten or not even one in ten because it's been it's probably been more than a month but like just the loot table's bad the rewards are terrible and then like now with the patch it's just like impossible well it's not impossible but it's like it's not even worth the time to like play the game to even try to get the legend cards which costs like upwards of like over a million credits and like at the rate i was getting credits before it was like i think it took like an hour to get a million and then it went <laughs> and then like after the patch it was like it, it takes like an hour to get i think half a million or something it basically got like really bad and as far oh yeah it was because it's like i had to do like the, like the, the, the race i was doing was like six six minutes i think and so it's like every six minutes i would get before the patch it was like a hundred thousand or almost a hundred thousand so that's like for an hour doing that 10 times for that 60 minutes which is an hour that's like a, a million credits right yeah because it's um 10 times 100,000 10 times 100,000 is a million and then after the patch it's like half or not even half that it's like 50,000 so it's like an hour which gets me half a million so it's like what <laughs> I'm not yeah because like all the legend cars cost at least like half a million and it's like dude it's not it's not worth it to uh grind this now because it's complete like half getting half of what you're getting before when it took like a long time to get it and then like every day the, the used cars cycle through but they only cycle through like a couple and it's like you know it just it's it's whatever and it's just um and like the legend cars cost like way more and they cycle through every couple of days too but it's like well if i can't grind up to get the, the the credits i need why well, i'm gonna bother with this so but then they put out a statement of like oh we're gonna change it back and we're gonna fix it in early april so we'll see what happens but uh uh, too too little too late. Uh, they kind of effed up on that one pretty badly, and I'm gonna just I'm no longer going to like you know talk about that game on my channel on YouTube or you know, you know I mean w once I do this chain with Tekken, I'm like yeah we're gonna just pretend this game doesn't exist. I don't care how how good they fix it in the future because they effed up too bad on the on the uh, whatever they were drinking or like whatever they were, controlled substance they were uh, <laughs> taking part yeah. in. Yeah, so that was do a really you bad, think okay bad so uh, let's call. Let's talk about microtransactions, since that was a big thing that they were trying to steer you towards. Um, of course, we've grown more used to microtransactions as we've gotten into the years and years and years of it being invest invested. Do you still think there is a big divide between people who don't do uh, uh, that to um, to people who do? Or do you think it's now it, that, that gap between non-microtransactions and microtransaction users uh is that getting closer and closer as we speak i still think there's a big gap because i don't i don't ever buy them like i it's like i not only do i not buy them but like if a game has it it's a mark against it for me it's like some people don't care but it's like some people like really like me just like do not want that crap in their games and it's like it, and it's like the fact like yeah even like the like mark of it or not no, or like not, or I guess, or whatever even the fact that if a game has it it's just like a mark against it because it's like okay well you know that like they're probably gonna it's like this is a design decision and it's like they're gonna at some point try to push people towards getting this crap or like you know have a certain section of the game or not a certain section of the game but like parts of the game stripped out or carved out or walled off or paid walled off and you will never never be able to access any of the stuff like in destiny destiny that's like that happened with like the eververse store there's a bunch of trash i mean that's the other thing is like but then like the thing is is like the, okay there's stuff in the game that like you won't ever get but it's all garbage anyway so it's like okay whatever but it's like the fact that that's even a thing is like go f yourself so it's like okay i don't really care about emotes and skins and all this other garbage like it's all garbage anyway like all the stuff that they're selling it's like i don't need that crap 
I mean, the, depending on the game, because like Grand Turismo is like the actual cars are like the microtransactions, and it's like I'm not gonna if you spend money on a virtual car, I can't drive in real life. A or point one, point two, it's like you're charging more than you did in Grand Turismo Sport, so you got effing greedy, so you can go if yourself on that one. Um, and then point three, it's like, dude, I, it's like, yeah, if it's like, if it's not in the game, haha, EA slogan from back in the day, it's like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's in the game, but it's like, it's not in the game for me to earn, it's in for the game for me to buy, and it's like, I already bought the effing game. If it's not a free to play game, and I'm not like going to be able to like, you know, uh, acquire it just from playing, then you can take that microtransaction, shine up real nice, and no, <laughs> don't say it. We all know what the reg would say. Don't you do say it. it. Even though it's virtual, so that's kind of not possible, but whatever. So, um, it, but yeah, dude, it's like for me, for me, it's like I effing hate microtransactions. So it's like just knowing that it's in the game is like go f yourself. Like that's what happened with effing um, Babylon's Fall that came out. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with that game, and there's like a lot of reasons like people didn't play it because Elden Ring came out and tons of people were playing Elden Ring. So it's like right now, it's like if your game's coming out, good luck because people are still playing Elden Ring. Probably, I mean, I'm not sure if people have moved on, but uh, that game has microtransactions as well. Cause it's also a games of service game, which is also why I hate games of service games because they are filled with microtransactions. It's kind of like a mark of like, oh, is this a games of service game? Oh, it's gonna have microtransactions. No, thank you. Do not want. Pass. Will not play. Uh, like that's why I passed on Anthem, effing Outriders, effing uh, Babylon's Fall. Like I just said. Basically, any game is a service game. Cause like that, you know that they're gonna have microtransactions. And the same thing with free to play game. It's like, de- depending on how it's implemented. Okay, cause not all free to play games do it th- th- the same. But um, cause I play a lot. Of, well, I don't play a lot of Gwent anymore. But I I did go back to playing it this week. So I've been playing that a ton. And that's like the only game in like the last since whenever Mass Effect Three came out, which I think was like ten years ago, that I spent mar- spent money for microtransactions. Cause Mass Effect Three, I I I bought some, but then I re- regretted it, so I never did it ever again. But then for um, but then for um, what was it really like so, a microtransaction for so, Gwent? Because so it was the so series you... skin, and that was more of like a. But then it was like also a season pass, so it wasn't like it's not like a one to one of like it was a microtransaction. Cause it was action, but you could say it was. But then it's also kind of like DLC. But it's like how do you categorize it? It's kind of, I don't know. I feel like it could be like different depending on like how you categorize them. But like to me, that's more less of a. I mean, it is a microtransaction because you bought it on top of the game. But the game is free, so therefore it's not like it's a free to play game, so that one's kinda different than like buying a microtransaction in a game that you already paid sixty dollars for or whatever you paid it for, like when it's actual like a, a game that you uh pay to play. Mm-hmm. So so what did you pick up in the uh so we were talking about Mass Effect mm-hmm. and you picked up something there. And it was it was like an uh what was, what did you buy? Oh, they basically had loot boxes. So it was like okay. premium specter packs, and then like when you get a premium specter pack, you get a bunch of uh, different rarity cards that would have unlocked different stuff. And I was okay. just um, impatient, and I was like, okay, well, if it, I'd rather just buy this crap and then waste time grinding it out. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because well, I guess that's the only thing with the microtransactions. It's usually also like a grind thing, where it's like, oh, you can grind. If I mean, if you can get it in game without having to grind. You know, you can grind for it, but then sometimes it's like you can't, and then sometimes you can. So it depends on like the game and the how it's structured. Okay, and um, so when it comes to like those mini, like okay, or like a uh, outfit or or anything like that, that's a big difference between buying like uh, a part of a game. See, what I had for uh, Fire Pro was that okay, we had your original game. But then you paid twenty bucks and you got like the Booker mode, or you you get you paid uh, ten bucks and you get uh, a story line that's that was part of the game, but not at time of release, right? So what do you feel about stuff like that? That's that's different. That's DLC, or I mean, it depends on like how you personally categorize it. Honestly, cause you probably could call like anything a microtransaction, but like for me, it's like if it's cosmetic. And it has no effect on the gameplay, and it's just like, oh, my character can wear this thing, or this weapon, or or if the weapon is just like a cosmetic thing, and it's like, you know, or I guess I just said the cosmetic only, or just like, it only affects like your appearance. It doesn't really affect the, um, any type of gameplay stuff, or just like the silly, completely superfluous stuff like in Destiny, where it's like, oh, it's an emote, I just dance around when I do this thing, or it's like, look at this skin I got, or this 
this sweet shader I can put on my stuff to make it do be different color or this ghost skin. Like that's usually that. Wait, what was the question? I'm kind of like forgetting what I was talking about. <laughs> something about like the differences between them or something, right? Yeah. Because cause, 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 like, ultimately, if you're buying a different mode, that's like DLC. That's not really... I mean, even though microtransactions are technically DLC because you're adding on, but it's like, it's a different type. So it's just, it's whatever. It's a whole taxon tax, taxonomy of it. It's just like, you know, it's a whole thing. But like, for me, it's like the like the base level stuff or not the base level but that's why i call it garbage it's just like it's completely like useless and like disposable like i don't care what my character is wearing or like or even if i do it's like i'm not going to effing pay for it so it's like there's there's basically a line in the sand i'm not going to cross and it's like microtransactions are usually those like the little trinkets in the game like i think marvel has or the avengers game from square enix has that where it's like you know you have little name plates and whatever the f but it's all but that's the other thing. I think that game said like they wouldn't be mon, mon there wouldn't be microtransactions. But then they went back on the, or not, or they didn't go back on the where they just straight up lied. And now there's you know you can spend plenty of money in that game to buy stuff. So, or there's also like the issue of like some games will have like in-game currency, and there's like different currencies where you have like the in-game currency, premium currency. If you buy premium currency, you can spend actual money and then buy stuff with the premium currency, as opposed to the in-game currency, which is probably like possibly not as um valuable so it's like you know you have two different two different currency systems and like the one that uses real world money is going to be more so it's like it's you're more incentivized to actually spend actual money and like you know to unlock stuff and buy stuff but it's like why would you do that that's literally a waste of money because all this crap is virtual anyway so you will never be able to touch taste smell all that stuff it i mean i guess you'll be able to see it but uh, only in the game and only on your character not on you so have fun with that Okay. So, uh, what's what's the next game you're thinking of? There is no next game right now because God of War Ragnarok is supposedly later this year. There's games that are 2022, but they have no release date set for like as as far as month and day. So there's just like a bunch of games I'm waiting for to get release dates, and then the only known quantity that that if it doesn't <laughs> get delayed is. God of War, which is like in the fourth quarter, so or I, we won't know until E3, hopefully, when they say what the release date is. But then there's also E3 because it's uh we're in this uh, yeah we're in the spring right now, so summer when E3 rolls around and then we can get well, I guess that's the problem with E3 though is like it's kind of dead and um it's been split into pieces, so <laughs> it got Voltron and um so you know we've got so yeah first we've got E3 then we've got uh. Leipzig and uh, Gamescom and then we've got TGS and we've got Summer Game Fest from Jeff Keighley and he stole all the announcements as well so thanks Jeff Keighley and then we've got the Game Awards at the end of the year so it's like you know there's still like five game uh, events and there's also PAX some PAX is in there whatever so there's it's con season essentially once we get to spring summer it's con season so you know once we get to all the cons conventions um We'll slowly get the the slow drip feed of all the game announcements and just like all the um b beyond that you know there's more um Nintendo Directs, State of Plays, Xbox, whatever's and all those direct announcements still too because now people are or not people but like now like the publishers and developers are more you know apt to be just direct <laughs> announcements and bypass all that stuff because I guess mm -hmm. it saves them time and money from actually having to go to those events so it's you know they're like oh yeah we can just or it's also like a way to um like cut through the noise of the hype and like the or just like the um signal to noise ratio it's like you know if you if you get your stuff out there you know before e3 then people are gonna be talking about it and you don't ever about your game if it's a smaller game being overshadowed by all the bigger stuff that gets announced towards like or like you know the the one game that's gonna take out take out all the oxygen of the room and just everybody's gonna be talking about it. It's like, oh, you see that, you see that here, that here, blah, 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 blah. and it's just like, okay, well that's that's like the one game that's like everybody won't shut up about. Meanwhile, it's like your game is getting overshadowed by it, and it's like, oh, maybe we should have just announced it X Y Z or how many days or weeks before, and then got it out the way, and then just started up the hype train for us, and then not got completely derailed by. Or not derailed, but not even gotten out, out of the station because the juggernaut was getting all the passengers and we couldn't get on the track or bad train analogy, whatever. You can, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Yeah. So there, that that's... I mean, 
Yeah. So yeah, there's. I mean, there's games I'm looking forward to, but like I said, there's there's not set in stone. So we've got, we've got Stray. We've got Little Devil Inside. We've got the Valkyria game that was at the last day to play that was Screenix announced. I'm hoping the other Screenix stuff that oh, there's the Chrono Cross remaster. I'm gonna pass yeah. on that though because um, I didn't play Saga Frontier until like way late last year, and it's like I'm not gonna buy it full price i'm just like wait for the sale because i was like that's, that's, when i finally got around to playing that it got discounted i was like oh actually just waited so that's definitely on my wait list um so there's that fn is that everything i mean it's, like, there's probably some more stuff but like you know there's a bunch of stuff like that where it's like it's all 2022 oh there's also a new star ocean if i didn't say that but um but yeah it's all 2022 there's no effing month given it's just like oh it's, it's coming out this year just like midnight suns it's like oh 2022 2022 it's like well is there a month and day please no okay i'll just keep waiting then so until then it's just uh play backlog stuff but i also realized oh that's right there's the playstation plus collection and i did download fallout 4 and final fantasy 15 so i will probably try to get through those two at some point but not anytime soon so well let's talk since we're talking about uh video games let's talk about the playstation plus and the grand news that came out then and that now now your Game Pass is Game Pass A. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay, what what would you like me to discuss about it? Well, uh, what do you think about it? What's your thoughts? You're the guy who bought... You're, this is up your alley. For me, I'm almost out of the video game craze. You know, I, I, play, I get a game or two a year and I play, right? But you're a guy who is a connoisseur. You're a guy who eats us like it's food. It, it's it, it's it's this kind of stuff that uh, I want to see how much you like it compared to Game Pass. I mean, initially I was kind of eh, but like the more I've been thinking about them, I'm like, mm, it's not that bad. I, only because it gives you the yearly option, and it's just like that's annoying on Game Pass. Is like where you have to buy a bunch of months all at once, and you can't just like you know get the, the get the effing year tier or like the year like get like pay for a year and like get out the way. So that's an added convenience for sure. Um, as far as the different tiers go, it's like, well, on the on the one tier, the like um, the bottom or not the bottom, I shouldn't say that, but like the base. It's it's I mean it's kind of weird because they tiered it, a or point one they they tiered it, so it's just kind of weird. But then it's like you know, they also didn't change it as far as like if you already have plus, you can still have the essential tier, and it's the same thing. I mean that's a good thing though because it's like you know. Maybe you're like, oh, well, I don't want Game Pass or oh, I don't want PlayStation now. It's like, okay, well then, shut up and keep keep on keeping on. Um, and then I think extra tier is good just because it is like on par with Game Pass and it's cheaper. That's the other thing is like all the tiers I believe are cheaper than the um, well they're cheaper than Ultimate, and Ultimate gets you like all the good stuff in in a uh, in Game Pass. But that being said, even like the even the, like the 120 tier for Game Pass is still effing really good because it's just so much game, and so if like for, but then like it's it's interesting because like you get this you get the similar like functionality on plus extra, but you just don't get like the day one first party games. But I would say like until we actually like you know, in, <laughs> well I, I mean I guess I have had Game Pass, so it's like you know it's like you usually do not have time to play all those games anyway, so it's like. The fact that it's cheaper as far as like the extra tier because the premium is kind of the same price but you get are i mean it's, it's 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 pretty even except except like except for the fact that you don't get day one first party is like that's really that's really the only difference here is like that's and that's what makes game pass so good is like you can just buy a series x or a 1s or what well, that's not it a series, a series x or a series s and then it's like you know you just buy that and then you just have a game pass sub and you're basically buying a library because you're you're paying like as much as you would for like two or three games every year and you get the entire first party lineup and a bunch of other third party stuff and so for extra that's like a hundred bucks but you don't get the first party stuff day one so but they did say you they will be adding so certain first party stuff so i think that's on the extra tier and i don't believe it's for the uh the baseline tier which is essential there's essential extra and premium so i think essential doesn't get you know the first party stuff and then they did say at launch um yeah they said extra and premium get the the good stuff which is the first party stuff 
and then uh you know if you're a playstation fan you know that's not even an argument you're already gonna you're gonna be like on on the team and like yep because we have versus exclusives which is you know i'm not gonna weigh into that on the podcast because you know we don't want to start a fight but um I would agree with that statement. <laughs> How are you going to get in a fight? Because it's just you and me. I'm just no. I'm just saying. Like it's like I don't want to have oh, anybody listening to this be like, oh, yeah. taken, blah, blah, blah. but yeah. uh, they said that. Uh, let's see. So premium and extra at launch get Death Stranding, God of War, Marvel Spider Man, and then Miles Morales as well. Mortal Kombat 11 and Returnal. So that's pretty good to me. So I, I imagine. Yeah. So Miles Morales has been out since 2020 when it launched. That's like two years. So it's like you know two year old exclusives. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I mean that's I mean that's the thing. It's like you, it's it's basically just like the whole thing with me. It's like you know are you gonna like wait to get the game half price, or are you gonna buy it day one to pl- well, not so much in PS5 times because f f that seventy dollar price point, but um, <laughs> it's like yeah. so, you, so you can like wait six to twelve months to get it discounted, or you can uh. You know, jump into the premium and extra tier on the new. Or gosh, I really wish they would like would have renamed Plus because now it's like PlayStation Plus Extra, PlayStation Plus Premium, PlayStation Plus Essential. It's like it was just PlayStation Plus before, and now it's like PlayStation Plus and all the different tiers now. Anywho, if you're getting extra or premium, which is the 100 yearly, 15 monthly, or the 120 yearly, 18 monthly then you can get these select PS5 and PS4 games. And that's the other thing. It's like with extra and, and effing premium. I'll just say the top two because it's like I'm, I'm sick of I'm like FTR. <laughs> top tiers. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> top guys. Wow. Um, top guys, FTR. <laughs> but because um, they get like the whole... That's a, that's like what made Game Pass so good before Ultimate even came out because like I had it on Xbox One S and I was like checking it out. I was like, this is, this is like effing amazing because like... To me, what makes it so good is it just, it is, like, because it, it just, like, is basically a re, re, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Or I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a modern rendition or modern equivalent or what have you of Sega Channel back in the day when you could just, like, play Sega Channel and then pay, well, I, well, I wasn't paying for it back then because I didn't have a, I was a child, so my, my mom did, but, um, it was the best thing ever just because, like, every month all the time at all the time you had like effing games to play and it was just like giant library so it's kind of like the i mean that's that's why people call it like like you know game pass has been equated to uh netflix is because you get that giant library of games and like yeah you have to pay for it but it's like dude it's like the prices that you're paying if you look at the yearly fee is is which is why what i, I always compare it to the yearly fee because it's it's just like a better way to look at it it's monthly is like a weird like i don't i don't pay for it like it's like who does that i mean Maybe you do, but it's like even then, it's like, dude, if you're if you're like buying a, a game a month, it's still less than that because it's, it's like less than sixty. It's fifteen or I mean eighteen. So it's like okay, and then like you know if you're paying yearly, it's a hundred or one twenty, which is one hundred is like almost a PS five game at that point. It's like you know fifteen bucks more than a flipping seventy seventy dollar. Wait, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I was thinking seventy five in my brain. I don't know, I did that, but um, but yeah, it's like I mean thirty bucks more than like a PS five first party title or, th- or third party if you're first spoken good luck with that <laughs> by the way oh, um oh. and then effing you know 120 is like less than two ps5 first party games or less than two 60 dollar games or not i'm sorry not less than but it's like basically the same price to like you know two full price 60 dollar games so it's like for that price and you're getting all these games it's like dude how could you not i don't understand how, how you could, could you not like i don't i don't understand how you could uh you can't deny that value, basically. Especially on, like, the extra tier, where you get PS4 games and PS5 games, and it's like, you know, would you like to have a like, catalog of PS5 games when there's... They're, it's like, you don't know if they're good or not, so you could just try before you buy. There's, there's that, too. It's like, you know, maybe you may even try it out instead of, like, buying it and being like, wow, that game's trash. Or, you know, being <laughs> buying Gran Turismo and being like, oh, you're, a week later, oh, they ruined it, and you're stuck, because you can't... I mean, at least if you buy it digitally, like me, and you're like, oh, no Ravens, <laughs> whatever. And then the PS4 stuff is, uh, you know, it's like, you know, you, you know, we all know what the, uh, uh, yeah, we all know about those games and like, you know, what's good and what's not. So you you just, you know, can be a nice taste tester of like, oh, well, I like this type of game. And if it's in there, it's like, oh, cool. And then for FN, the only thing I don't like as far as the whole, like, you know, premium tier with all the back catalog is, uh. Well, okay, okay. Well, right now I'd like to get a list to see like what's in there because it says the way it's worded, dude. 
It says, a catalog of beloved classic games. Available in both streaming and download options for the original, PlayStation, PS2, and PSP generations. So when it says, beloved classic games, dude, that's like, you're setting my expectations, all right? Don't, like, don't do that, all right? Because it's like, if it comes out, and there's no Xena Saga, there's no Dragon Guard, there's no effing Shadow Hearts, any of them, there's no effing um, Legend of Ligaia. Okay, okay, here's the thing, dude. Okay, on top of that, is like, it's all about the JRPGs, really, at this point, because it's like, they just, like, that was like the golden age, PS1, PS2, JRPGs, they're just like, ah. Oh. And then I'm, <laughs> okay, I, I'll get to my point about the PS3 after this, but like, so to me, it's like, okay, if those games aren't on there, and you're like, below the classics, it's like, okay, here they are, like, the games, it's like, hmm, looking down this list, nice, don't see a bunch of Okay, maybe they're not beloved classics, but they're like cult hits, and it's like they deserve to be on there. And it's like, if I, if I, see, if I see that list, and I don't see a bunch of sweet JRPGs I would like to revisit. And it's like, oh, there's a insert licensed garbage here, or whatever. It's like, oh, why is what? what? No, this is terrible. So I guess that's your thing. Is like, I kind of got to kind of got to see the list of games as well. This is kind of still up in the air as far as like, is it really as good as it as it could be? Because it could it could go bad, but I I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping they didn't just crap this out and it's terrible. And then also it be it, I'm interested to see if they have trophy support because it's like that kind of changes the game. Because because at first I was like, well, if I already have these games, why would I play them again? But then if there's trophies, I'll be like, oh okay. I mean, if they have platinums, it's like I'd like to go for platinums in some of these because it's like why not? And then um, it's like it, it's like it also has the uh, streaming functionality that you get in the PS5. So it's like I can't wait to stream all these classics at well ps1 and ps2 and everything else that's not ps3 because ps3 is streaming only which is the bummer part because they're only available via cloud streaming so we'll see i mean for me it's like i it's like i just wanted ps1 and ps2 so i'm happy ps3 to me is like early hd era so it's like all those games aren't even in 1080 if if you're lucky it's in 720 and it does, doesn't look bad because that was back in the times of you know the technology was like still in its infancy as far as HD resolution games, and it wasn't really until PS4 where like you know games that were in, but, well even in PS4 it was like 900p sometimes it was it was a struggle okay essentially it's been a struggle in, in the HD era that's why I'm like even kind of like okay well, we're in 4K now but like not even game like not even all games hit like the 4K 60 so it's like. Ugh. Still, it's, there's, it's been a struggle, okay, since PS3 to like get the games to, like where they're technically up to up to par and like not just like you know sh like <laughs> not uh the performance is there, but yeah. So so okay, so the PlayStation One and Two games come with the higher the highest tier, right? Yeah, the highest tier. That's that's my other gripe actually, because Nintendo did that and that really pissed me off. The reason it doesn't the reason it doesn't make me as angry here is just because like you know they say like up front it's like even in the blog entry for this it's like you know um all new playstation plus launches in june with 700 plus games and more value than ever so it's like okay 700 over 700 games that's a lot of effing games dude so it's like nintendo on the other hand is like here's our nintendo online here's three games and then like randomly every few months it's like here's another three games or it's just like here's five games it's like they don't effing like they it's a it's a botched launch in my opinion of just like uh we're working on it here's what we have for now have fun enjoy it please be excited and she's like that's not no that's not acceptable nintendo you can't just have your paywalled backwards compatibility because you're not going to sell these on a virtual console that you used to have and you're just gonna like pretend it doesn't exist and it's like oh here's five games and it's always the same stuff because it's like oh mario 64 ocarina of time uh Mario Kart, okay, it's like, it's like, I already played these games, I already own these games, I'm not excited, I'm not buying them again, go for yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get off this because I'm gonna start ranting about Nintendo, but, um, the reason it doesn't upset me as much here, <laughs> to not start ranting about Nintendo, yeah. and how much I'm, how I'm very angry they make me all the time, oh, is, the um, is like, it. you know, some of these games are super expensive on eBay, or the second hand market, and it's like, it's like just being able to play them is like yes i just want to play this stuff because it's it's not i can't just go into a store and effing buy it okay a that or point one that point two it's like i don't always feel like hooking up my old consoles to play my old games and because with the exception of 
Xbox. I can't believe I'm saving this. The other two are doing a sh well, I almost said the word. They're a very they crappy job that. on their backwards compatibility, and it's been trash and only gotten worse. And this is like not a good sign of things to come, especially with the whole PS3 via cloud streaming. It's like, and, and, wow, I can't believe I'm raining about PlayStation here. Anyway, <laughs> and I, I learned this like just the other day. I was talking about this on the Facebook group. It's like, I didn't know that the laser in the PS5, I don't even have the, well, that's not the version I have. I have like the uh, digital version. So I was like, I don't even have that functionality. But like the laser in the PS5 is like meant for specific types of uh, Blu-rays and it can't read CDs. So even if you had like, you know, a PS1 disc would not be able to read. I mean, some PS2 discs, I guess it could read because it's DVD as well, but it's like not the ones that are CDs, so kind of shot themselves in the foot. And it's like clearly because they're like, you know, not working on the emulation. Cause I mean, okay, my hope is, before I get too down on this, that they do com like continue to like before you start getting and down improve on it. it. What buff? You're already, you're already down on it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying this, this is what irks me about it. It's just like, it's like... Okay, I'll I'll get I'll I'll circle back around to that one, buddy. I I will circle back around to that. But circle like you know, back, back to the PS3 trash and like the fact that it's like you know, oh, we just stopped working on our backwards compatibility and emulation because it wasn't worth it. Go for yourself. And it's like, oh, we're gonna like make it available via cloud streaming. So I'm hoping that they like, if this is a success and it does make them money, they're not just gonna be like, oh yeah, money time at PlayStation, woo, and just throw all the money in the air and just like drink champagne round it's like oh yeah man we made money Whoa. it's like i hope they actually have like a dedicated i mean i hope this happens but i i'm kind of doubtful because effing paul ryan and his his comments in the past about like old games and eh, what are those they look terrible eh, he just he totally doesn't get it i hate that guy um <laughs> it's like or jim ryan not paul ryan whatever he knows yeah. his name anywho you know who you are yeah you know who you're effing are um i'm hoping they have like a dedicated team that is like, gonna like work on this just like they did at Xbox to like get the backwards compatibility there and then like get it in the hardware that way it can be backwards compatible and this will I mean that that being said it's like I don't see it happening because they've obviously paywalled it so it's like hmm if we can just put a paywall here and people are going to pay for it why would we just give it away for free it's like yeah play has no limits except for backwards compatibility in old games apparently so go for yourselves on that one PlayStation and then to go back around the PS3, what was I talking about? It was like, um, I can't remember now, but it's like, you know, it's just really annoying, you know? It's like, if these games have are on discs, and you put it in, wouldn't it be nice if you could just put it in whatever thing, and it played? It's just like, ah. I can't even remember now. I was like, so angry about it, and now I'm just like, dude, what was I talking about? It's like, I was going to circle back around to the whole FN PS3. I think that's what it was. It's just like the whole, you know, that's like, you know, it's like, it's on a paywall now. It's like, backwards compatibility has been paywalled. And it's like, it's possible we don't get this functionality going forward, at least with PlayStation, because Xbox had forward compatibility going forward, so I'm going to hold them to that, which kind of sucks getting to wait until the next generation. But then it's also annoying because, like, I was I was all set on, like, playing more third-party stuff for that specific reason on Xbox, but then, like, the DualSense functionality has been really good, and I'm just like, damn it, I'm going to, like, miss out on all this DualSense stuff if I play my games over there, and it's just like, oh, curses! <sighs> FM PlayStation, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. What was it? Uh, what was it? I can't remember what I was going to circle back around to on PS3 now. I, I, I'm I, sorry, everybody. I was, but yeah. It's like, it, it's cool that we get PSP games. Why is there no Vita? I'm just saying, like, what's up with that? So, so. what game would you not want to see on for the PlayStation 1 on the PlayStation uh, whatever it's called now? There aren't any games I wouldn't want to see because they're, they're not easy to get. Like, I can't just walk into a store and buy a game that's, like, on PS1 and be like, oh, do you have Siphon Filter? Do you have Soul Edge? Do you have Tekken 1, 2, or 3? Do you have Ridge Racer? Do you have <laughs> Wild Arms 1 or 2? Do you have Saga Frontier 1 or 2? Do you have Bushido Blade 1 or 2? So many good games! There's so many effing good games on PS1 and PS2, so it's like, I'm I'm hoping they just effing get this right, and if they don't, I'm going to be so pissed. So it's like... I think, well, you got to remember, you are... I, I don't want to say you're of a rare uh, minority, as in somebody who plays all these games. Expect crap of the rapper. Expect they already uh, okay. Here's the also the problem, dude. Is like they have been there have been remakes and remasters of some of these PS1, and 2, and PS3 games. So you don't yeah. actually need all of them. But it's like because like crap of the rapper's on PS4. Like I have that. I have that. I have a copy of it. 
like Forever the Rapper 1 and 2. It's like, I don't need that game because I already have it. But if they have it, I'm not going to complain because it's like, okay, well, maybe there's like something quirky with the original version on the native hardware that like, makes it worth revisiting, but not really. Same thing with Resident Evil. It's like, we have remakes of Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, soon to be 4. Well, Code Veronica probably is in 4, but hopefully they don't make that mistake. I, and by make that mistake, I mean hopefully they don't they do not do 4 before Code Veronica is what I'm saying. Anywho, so there's remakes of all those. Heck, I even think Code Veronica... Okay, actually, hold on. Time out. Yeah, Code Veronica even has like a HD version anyway. So it's like, you know, there's all these legacy games that have been remade or remastered that don't exactly need to be put onto this because they're already available. I mean, not that they don't need to, but it's like they don't... I, I would say they don't take priority over other stuff. It's like, if I can replay this game... I'm sorry, not, not replay this game. If I can play this game in a remastered or remade form, it should not get priority over other games like Demon Souls. Or Dark Souls, or whichever one it is that's on PS5, that one. It's like, okay, why is it on this list? It's like, or like, why is this game here when it have I have an Epic remake? Or Shadow of the Colossus, because uh, that also got remade. At that being said, I would like to see an Eco because it didn't get remade. And, it, and then I am, and I am of the team Eco of like, I prefer that over Shadow of the Colossus. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel about that. But uh, does that did that answer your question, Buff, about the whole? Yes. <laughs> okay. I I think it does. <laughs> So what else do you want to talk about today when we got in our... Uh, what was I ranting about on PS3 when I said I'd circle back around to Because now I'm like, it's bugging me. I'm like, was there something I wanted to say? Well, you want to talk about because it because that's the HD era, right? So that's that's pretty much what you're saying. Hmm. Oh! I, oh, well, maybe it was just like the fact that, like, you know, not even games that, like... It's like, uh, yeah, I think I was just saying that, like, you know, it just took a long time to get to, like, where we're at with 4K. And, like, not even games that are, like, on a 4K console run at 4K 60. So, you know, we can't even get... <laughs> we can't even get the best performance from the current gen so yeah have fun playing those ps3 games and see how, how terrible it was yeah. back in the day i mean it wasn't terrible yeah. but it's like you know it wasn't it wasn't the best in my opinion th- ps like yeah i've always looked down on ps3 i will always look down on ps3 just because it just like I, it, 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 okay it was it was a bad time in the playstation in the playstation kingdom <laughs> when ps3 was out okay it was expensive <laughs> there weren't a lot of games and like the yeah it, 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 dual shock was not a thing and for a while they turned the ship around but it took a long time and the damage was dealt but uh that being oh, said as bad as ps3 dealt? was as bad as ps3 was it planted the seeds of like where we're at now and it was you know after entire 2 it was all uphill it was all uphill and we've been all uphill since and uh you know you know yeah it's it's nice to look back and be like man we were, we were really really down in the ps3 era but now we're back so it's cool our, Sony was, our PlayStation was really down, but now they're back, so it's cool. Um, yeah. I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was now. I mean, 4K60, it's like whatever. It's like, you know, games look good enough now where it's like whatever. It's like, you know, they don't really look terrible anymore. Unless... Okay, this... Okay. It's whatever. It's like, you, we're, we're, at, we're at such a better time now, so it's like it's fun to go back and play PS3 games and see, like, just how janky and, like, you know, eh, it was in HD times before they figured it out, and now we can be like, man, I'm glad they figured it out. You gotta believe. <laughs> I'm like Brappo. Yeah, that's right. All right. So uh, to end this, uh, let's talk about uh, what's that game I was playing? Horizon. Oh wait, wait, wait! Horizon. Before before you go to Horizon, I want to ask you: like, are you even excited about any of this new PlayStation Plus stuff? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm actually. Okay, so when does it start again? In June, I, th- I believe. So, so can I up? Like, so I've I've paid for a year on my PlayStation Plus, regular one. Mm-hmm. Can I just pay pay a little extra and get the full package? I don't believe so. I think I. Oh, I don't know. I, I imagine that if you get one of the higher tiers, it's going to start when your current one ends, maybe. But I guess we'll see. Cause I haven't. They only said that if you have plus or. They only said that if you have now, right now, it gets upgraded to the uh, oh, okay. premium or extra. <laughs> I'm never gonna. Re- I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna have such a hard time remem- remembering these stupid tiers. But yeah, the top two, top guys. Okay, well that's it. I I would be interested in that because then I can play SSX Tricky, and I can play some of these. I I can go back and play, and I know this is a long shot, Tech, and so I know cool. it's a long shot. Nope. Oh, that's a good idea. 
Now, are these going to have online capabilities? Nope. I mean, so unless they put it back in, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. So that that would be cool, but yeah, that's yeah. So that's the thing is like my expectations are so low, and it's like I really want them to do something to like, you know, make me happy here, and not just like have it be a flipping production line. Here's the thing. That's all we did. Yep. So, um, uh, Kesson, I'd, I'd like to get that, play that, give that a try again. It's one of those titles I'm sure is going to be like near the end of whatever they put on there, but you know me and Kesson, I'd love to play that just for old time's sake. So that'd be, it'd be, it'd be nice to give it a year. I, I'd, I'd buy it for a year and see how it is. Lord knows I got to try to find something to play. <laughs> that, because... That's what I said on Twitter is like, you know. For me, as someone that's, like, usually playing something all the time, I mean, we're still, like, early on in this gen, so it's, like, we don't have, like, the usual schedule of, like, there's something every month. I mean, there's something every month, but it's, like, it might not be for you, which is the case. It's, like, you know, not everybody's into, like, whatever is new and fancy, so I'm hoping once we finally get to that point, I won't have to worry about this, but, like, right now, this would be good for me just because I could play in between releases i'm looking forward to of like when there's nothing to play and just like play something from the back catalog which would have, was like literally what i would be doing now because i would finish gran turismo i would finish guardians and been like oh i have nothing to play i mean i have my backlog but it's like eh, i'd rather play the, the classics and that uh, yeah and just like the fact that like we're, the, we're gonna have like a whole catalog of like a library of like uh beloved classics <laughs> as they called them and just like oh have you played xyz and it's like oh and just like you know it re it re uh reintroduces them into the discussion of games and stuff right. back in uh so um i guess we'll end it with this uh sad news coming out of the world of video games uh that the servers for uh everybody's golf after five to six glorious years <laughs> is coming to an end uh for the last two years uh tekken myself uh, a good friend of mine, Sean, what the hell, LaBelle, and, uh, and JCP uh, have all played every Friday night for the most part. Uh, and, and now it is. And then, and then finally they've said, well, I've given up. Now this is a year after they stopped doing the online tournaments. So we should have realized that this is coming to an end when they stopped doing the online tournaments, right? So uh, my question to you is, Tekken, what's the next game? What would you... What would you like to do? I've already picked you know, my game. Back to fall guys. <laughs> yep, yep. There's always fall guys. There's always fall guys. I mean, I honestly don't know, dude, because I I was even like considering like like ending my plus subscription after this year because I only play single player games mostly anyway, so I don't even yeah. need the multiplayer. So like with these current, but now but that they've like the... got this um you know new thing coming out, I'm actually like, oh okay, that actually gives me a reason to resubscribe if if yeah. the, if the classics are good enough, you know. So I would agree. Uh, so, well, you're not a shooter man. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want a shooting game. So, what kind of, what kind of genre would you want to play? I don't know. Maybe something co-op. But then the, the thing is, like, we tried Monster and it didn't work. So, I don't know. Well, that's because that game sucks. <laughs> but that's mm. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. That's true. I mean, we could do that. It, it didn't suck. I just, I just need to play it more to get the feel right. So, um, that's an option. Uh, would you want to do another sports title? Would you Not want to have really. a? Would you want to do a racing game, Mr. Uh, oh, Mr. actually, Zinfino? there was the Sonic's Kart Racer that's on Plus. It's I'm not sure if it's good though. But we could try that. I don't know. There's, well, there's a bunch of crap. We could just like try a game every week until we find one that works. And, there like, you go. Yeah, there's a, there's plenty of crap. I mean, there's plenty of games out there. Wow, there you well, <laughs> you, You're you're right either way. You you're just, right either way. Just put it on a giant spinning wheel and just spin it every week and be like, all right, what are we playing this week? Well, so, somebody picks the game, and there you go. Perfect. And then we download it, we play it for a week, then we all play it together, and if you like it, we go. That's good. Or we can always play PGA 2K21. You never know. We can always do that too. Anyways. What were you saying about Horizon before I interrupted you with the whole Oh, yeah. Well, I, I played a little bit more. I'm really enjoying it. It's a very worthwhile game. I like shooting the robots. That's my favorite thing. And um, it, it, it's a, I really, I'm enjoying it, Tekken. So thank you very much for recommending it. I really, truly enjoy it. Well, you know, when people say Game of the Generation, just saying. Well, I, now, that they, now that I've gotten away from that darn kid 
animation. <laughs> that freaked me out, man. That's freaking me out. But no, it, it's getting good now. I, I'm not playing it as often as I had did Guardians because uh, life's been crazy. But I hopefully after the marathon in Vegas, I'll be able to get there and play a little bit more. I, I'm looking forward to that. And on that note, I think we are good. Yeah, anything else you want to talk about, good sir? Are we not doing any type of like WrestleMania predictions or anything? Okay, let's do let's do okay, let's do the quick and the dirty then. All right. Oh, also, to, before you... that, though, like, okay, so we were talking about the uh, Revolution pay per view last time on AEW. Like, okay, yeah. so then then Rosa lost, which we both said she would, but then but then they had her get the title um, in the cage match. So like, what what's up? Like what like what do you think? Like why do they think they booked it like that? Like, it was in her hometown. Oh yeah, good point. And it, and you get a bigger reaction having it done in your in your in your hometown, I guess. I just thought that was it, odd it, that they had like the, the, the pay per view, but then they had like the rematch, and then they got and then she got the title then. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it doesn't make much sense, but then it, but then you think, okay, they're having it in her hometown, and she wins it there, and and that it was by shenanigans on the pay per view. Oh yeah, good point. Right. Yeah. So that created the chance to have a steel cage match in her hometown on TV, and, and therefore you get people watch watching it's it's not too bad but uh but yeah so i i i thunder rose is a very very i really enjoy her as a wrestler yep. for sure absolutely now um but okay you did you have the wrestlemania matchup matches up there uh i do not I could look oh, real quick, though. bring up real quick we'll do now are you gonna watch both nights uh yes Okay. See, this is the best thing. I used to, at the very start of this, I named you off all the pay per views. There's a new Japan pay per view going on. There is, uh, there's, and then I've got WrestleMania night one, night two. And how much am I going to be watching? None of it. None of it. Me. Oh my gosh, piece of crap. Not one. Don't call me a piece of crap just because <laughs> I'm not watching any of the wrestling. I'm talking, you're talking to the. <laughs> site that's like turn off your ad block it's like no no well that's the thing right it's it's i am not watching a single thing now i'm sure it's vegas so therefore somewhere on a tv is being it's going to be played so i'm sure i'll be watching some of it during my time there but it's uh uh for the wrestlemania build i would absolutely say yay for brock and 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 uh roman and i think this is going to be roman's uh big night so you can finally bypass the great Brock Lesnar because after years of losing at Mania he can't lose again so he's gonna I think he's gonna have himself a nice little unif- unify the titles wait, wait, what are you and, talking about? I thought I thought well he he won last year at Wrestlemania against Brock oh he's, has he not beat Brock at Wrestlemania I don't believe he has oh man. I thought he did uh, you know we have Drew he beat him and Seth has beat Brock, but Roman has never beat Brock at at Mania. I think they've he's beat him once or twice before. Anyways, they they're making Roman to be the big name. Of course, you know this. He's he's the face of the company, if you will, right? So they're making him have this big long winning streak, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, even though it's mostly by shenanigans because those dirty, dirty Usos. <laughs> but but at the same time. Eventually it'll it'll end, but I don't think it's going to end with Brock Lesnar. I think he's just going to be another name to put on the uh, the list of people who Roman has beat in this uh, in this title. But that's the thing, though, is like I feel like if they're going to like end the streak, it has to be like a legend. It can't just be like someone on the no, roster. No, it has just... to be. It has to be because you can't create stars. You can't create the future by. Uh, Concentrating all on the past, and they have. That's the problem, and that's the problem. Well, yeah, that's kind of like the problem though, because like, who, I, I like, I wouldn't like, I don't know who I would pick out the current roster to beat Roman. I mean, maybe Seth, just because they had like the unfinished business thing where it was, um, he was in line to like take him on at a pay per view, but then he got put on Raw, and it's like ah, yeah. So and, and, and so I did, the, I did quite enjoy their stum. I don't, I don't, I don't remember if it was SummerSlam or whatever pay per view. Like when he had the Rumble. shield entrance and he had the shield gear on, and Rumble, he was like mind yeah. games with them. And then he got yeah. DQ'd anyway, so it's like technically Seth won, but I uh, didn't get the channel. Yeah. So I was like, you know, that's still that that angle is still like unresolved. So I exactly. think it might be Seth, but like you know, exactly. Really so and and and, and I think yes, absolutely. Or 
a big E, but now his yeah, neck is broken. Or, or, yeah, or Bobby Lashley. Or, or, but the thing is, again, Bobby is in his 40s now. Yeah. See, that's that's the thing we're dealing with now. We're getting an older clientele, and they need some young, fresh blood. And and so that leads to my question to you, Tekken. Hmm. Who is Vince going to throw at Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? Oh, it's, it's uh, we already know. It's, um, it's what you call it. <laughs> I can't think of his name now. What you um, call it? Dustin Rhodes. There we go. No. It's going to be uh, Cody Rhodes. Or Cody Rhodes, my bad. There you go. And, uh, well, you don't know that. I haven't heard anything. It, could, it, it, it would be... Who else it would, would it be, be, though? Well, I can only think of one person. If I, I know. Cody is, like, the lead runner for it because he's the hot prospect. It's just, like, weird, though, because there's, like, no build for his, like, reintroduction, but whatever. Yep. But the thing is, if he's Vince's guy... Oh my God! His first movie. I, mean, I saw. I saw the. If seeing a, a Cody as Vince's guy, is is a good idea because a it keeps him in the spotlight. Vince is gonna make sure he gets all the 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 time because he's his guy, right? Mm-hmm. And I know Austin Theory is also supposed to be this kind of person, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's supposed to be Vince's guy, so therefore they can kind of team together for a while, and then finally. Uh, Cody finally gets rid of Austin Theory, and Austin Theory can become a a face or whatever you want to call him, right? And then he, then Cody can fully become a whole Vince guy. Maybe Cody's the guy that beats Roman. You never know. You That'd never know. That would be weird, but something have to happen. I, but I just hope it's not Austin Theory because I don't like him. So you know, I don't think anybody else does. Yeah. Oh, that's a good that's a good tease because Austin Theory. Is Vince's guy, so you could throw him in there. But uh, you forget the one name that everybody forgets because you should. Uh, <laughs> it's it's it. Where, where's WrestleMania this year? Texas. Yes. Are you gonna say Stone Cold? No. Oh. I'm gonna say the other man who is <laughs> the other man. <laughs> the other man who is is synonymous with Texas, and that is. The Undertaker, but he's having his uh, Hall of Fame thingy, and he's like retired. So good, isn't that guess, a good thing? I guess it'd be like a nice. Boy, he's gonna movie. be at WrestleMania, yeah. is he for the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Hmm. That I guess I wouldn't mean he just that come would out be there a, and... a pretty good surprise though. Yes, nobody's expecting it. Yeah, and Seth doesn't like even if Seth loses to him, which he would, it wouldn't make that big of a deal. Or even if he did beat the Taker. Wouldn't that be something as well, right? So, yeah, it's 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 an idea. It's an idea. So I would say I would say leave Cody for Monday Night Raw, the big reveal then, because people are going to be watching. A lot of people will be watching because everybody watches at the last uh, at the at the pay per view, right? They always watch Monday night to see the no, what I, happens. I actually right? watch Raw this Monday. It's really weird, like when like it's a good Raw. It's like, dude, why can't it be this way every week? It's just like, oh, I heard, that I heard it. So I heard. If it was like, if every episode of Raw was good and not trash, it's just like ah, three hours of wrestling. Yep. yep. But the, here's the thing: you all you have to realize is that Brock came back the night after WrestleMania. Goldberg came back the night after WrestleMania. A lot of these new hirees come back the night after WrestleMania, right? So therefore, Cody comes back as Vince's uh assassin if you want the night after mania and maybe that's why they're gonna put they'll put uh austin theory against seth and then seth will beat austin theory and then vince will fire him by by and and by fire i mean sick cody on him and then cody becomes vince's guy that way you never know you never know until the name is announced and then you go from there you name if it's the taker Oh, fun! I I would rather see Taker than Cody Rhodes, and I that's agree. I agree, and that's crazy. But I'd rather would see Cody the next night on on Raw and start the whole program right there. Okay, well, I have that's the card. Right. I have the card finally. Okay, well, I had it a while ago. I was just letting you talk because if you kept talking, you're like you weren't done. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'll <laughs> shut up then. All right, all right, let's do the quick hits. I'll do quick hits with you. Okay, right. here we go. Night one, we've got Charlotte Flair. Ooh, versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Champion. I'm Charlotte gonna, Flair. I, I'm, ooh, I, I think Ronda's going to win just because... Ronda's not going to be around. I She's want Charlotte kidding. to win just, just because like I've, I've grown to appreciate Charlotte over my 
time watching WWE. I'm At sure first, I was like, eh, Charlotte like Flair, but then I'm like, mm, she's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure you did, pervert. <laughs> Whatever. All right, next um, up. And then next match. Are you right? writing these down so we can compare next time? No, I'm not writing this down. Okay. I could just, you could just go back and look and like listen to it, dude. You don't need to write it down. Anyway, next we've got Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, after the haircutting incident on Monday night. <laughs> that uh, was great. Yeah, I'm going to say it's going to be the man. I, I, after 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 her getting her ass kicked at SummerSlam in eight seconds, you'd think Bianca Belair would win. But I think because she cut her hair and all that, I think this is going to be a Becky cheats to win kind of thing. Ooh, see, I want Bianca to win, but I don't think I think Becky's going to win. And it's like it's just I just and I just like prefer Becky on the mic as as like like doing her thing. Like she's like I have it's like I didn't she was like gone for the most time. I've been rewatching WWE and like she's back and mm-hmm. it's like oh she's really good. So I, I think I think Becky's going to take it just because anyway. Yeah. Um. Then we have Seth Rollins versus mystery opponent. Mystery opponent. <laughs> Agreed. It, it's like it's it. Yeah. It just yeah. If it's, it's it's yeah. It's just gonna be a fun time. Let's see who that is. And and I picked the Undertaker. <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know. Now that both are out there, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that might be the way it goes. He's uh, he's there for the Hall of Fame. All he has to do is big a long entrance and a choke slam and a, 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 a like it. It can just be a squash. Like Seth will just go like that. I can see Seth losing in a squash if it's Undertaker. I just think I just think it's gonna be like one of those things where it's like you know, it is gonna be like a surprise and it's not gonna be Cody because it's like and it's gonna be like oh well, Seth Rollins definitely regrets having to like ha- like having this match and like having to beg for it and like yep. getting called into HQ and all that stuff yeah I think that's gonna happen Mystery opponent wins. Um, next match we've got Ray and Dominic Mysterio versus the Miz and Paul Logan or Logan Paul. Uh, Miz is gonna get pinned. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. The Mysterio is winning because Logan Paul has no experience and or Logan Paul pins Dominic. It's one of the two, but I think Miz is gonna get pinned. I'll, I'll pick the Mysterio. I don't know who's gonna get pinned, but I'll I'll say the Mysterio okay. as well. There you go. Next up. Next one, we've got Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin, who has been undefeated since his whole uh, Vegas thing. I gotta Good say, I, I just want to say, like, I did enjoy the bum Corbin character that whole yes. like time when he was just like a complete loser and lost all his money. That's great. Drew, Drew McIntyre is gonna beat the living bejesus out of him. <laughs> happy won't be happy when he's done. Oh, I think, I think, yeah, I think not only is Drew McIntyre gonna win, but we're finally gonna see the implosion between a uh, Happy and Mad Cop because he keeps he keeps telling bad jokes like the last few weeks, so I think it's gonna like finally implode. What a butch! Oh no, that's Sheamus. Yeah, it's Sheamus. Sheamus and Butch, yeah. The Fight Club team, yeah. Or Fight Night, not Fight Club. Anyway. Next match, we've got the Usos versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Oh, uh, fuck. For the SmackDown Oops. Tag Team Championship. No, Usos, Usos, Usos. Mm. Yep. I, I, mm. Nope. Okay. I, I disagree. I, I, want, I, I think, think Shinsuke, and, not Shinsuke and Rick just because... Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. I, did, I, I mean, we'll see. There's a, there's a special place in hell for boobs. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I hate him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then we've got King Woods and Kofi Kingston versus uh, of the New Day versus Ridge Holland and Sheamus. I'll take yeah, a New Day. New here. Day. New Day every day. <laughs> but yeah, which will probably be with with that with those two. Perfect. Next up. Okay. Then lastly, a night one. Please tell. Oh, thank God. Lastly, on night one, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin to confront Kevin Owens on the KO uh, show. Pass. Which is not really a match, so. No, it's just a drink of beer and kick, and, kick wham stunner. That's all it is. <laughs> all right, night two, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, winner take all championship unification. Tribal Chief all the way on that one, man. Yep. I've, yep. I have very much I enjoyed that. watching the uh, Island That's of Revelancy just... story arc. Thank you, WWE, for that. Yep. <laughs> it's been a fun ride. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep it going. I guess let's keep it. Let's keep it going. But like you know, just please take the landing on that with the plane. Uh, Agreed. Then, then we've got Bobby Bobby Lashley versus Omos. I'll say Bobby Lashley just to just to like you know show the he is the uh, the uh, what you call it. I almost said world eater. That's not him. That's somebody else. Then, I, then the Colossus is Omos's thingy. What's the effing um? 
the thingy thing? What's what's Bobby Lashley's thing? His, his name or nickname? Uh, the Almighty yes, Bobby the Almighty, Lashley. Yes, the Almighty will take down the cloth this year. Yes, I think so. I agree. Um, Edge versus AJ Styles. Ooh, that's gonna be a good match. AJ Styles. Ooh, AJ Styles. I mm, I'll take Edge. That's fine. Let let Edge have his fun. But I AJ Styles is there every just because he he like just came he like he's back from retirement. So who knows when he's like leaving? Yes, sooner the better. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Anything goes. No, uh, but yeah, how many how many of the Jackass crew is going to be there? to jump in there right so i'm thinking that's gonna happen but oh, i say yeah. sammy doesn't have a belt he's not gonna lose anything i say johnny knox was gonna win due to shenanigans i agree the, I, I was really annoyed when they like finally gave sammy the intercontinental title for like a week and they lost it it was like i it's like the whole like the, it's like i was like dude like they he had the whole thing about like the conspiracy thing and then like he finally gets the title and he doesn't even get to like you know yeah. enjoy it and I was like, I was kind of wanting something from that. And then it's like, whatever, man. Yeah. Talk about storylines that go nowhere. Um, then next we've got Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. I think Pat's going to win just because I don't like Austin Theory. <laughs> well, since Austin Theory is still, therefore it's not going to be Austin Theory as Vince brings out as a mystery guy. Because they're wrestling. Though on a different night. So that could be... Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I guess, ugh, I and it's care. like I don't want Pat McAfee to be doing commentary every week because he's gonna like keep saying about how he lost at WrestleMania if he loses. It's like I'd rather have him win so he can like not be. No, thing is he. No, you week. talk about winning at WrestleMania if you win. I'm no, just saying it's better than him talking about losing every week. It's just like, oh, yes. get over it, dude. Agreed. So let's go. I'm gonna go with Pat McAfee. All right, and then I'm we've go got. Ahead. um RK Bro versus Street Profits versus Alpha Academy for the Raw Tag Team Championship. RK Bro. I agree. I do not like Randy Orton, but I, I have very much enjoyed RK Bro team and just like I like, their, I, their I like the Alpha. I like the Alpha Academy though. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Hmm. Anywho, and then oh, then we've got the uh, Fatal Four. We've got Queen Zelina and Carmella versus Sasha uh, and Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Natalia. And Shayna Baszler for the women's tag team hey, championship. Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks. See, I, I thought the whole the whole thing with her, uh, with uh, the glow stick and uh, and um, the G, the GM off SmackDown. Uh, I thought they were going to have a big match at Mania, but I guess that's not happening. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like. It's open here for anybody except for Natalia and Shayna because I just don't see them winning. But um, I I I do hope Sasha wins. That way I can finally stop watching WWE because that's why I said it's like when she finally wins WrestleMania, I will stop watching and just be all laid up all the time. Perfect. Now, any other matches? That's it. That's it. Good. Perfect. Well, that's a good way. We'll compare our notes afterwards, and we will talk and we'll confer the next time. How's that? Uh. Wait, what? Well, we'll find out who wins, and then we'll have another podcast. And we'll discuss who but who's right and who's shouldn't wrong. Shouldn't we just do the ones where we disagreed on who would win? Yes. Okay. I'm sure, why not? So there you go. Whatever. There you go. As long as the, if the Undertaker shows up, I win everything. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many I get wrong. If the Undertaker shows up to face Seth Rollins, I win. That's all I'm saying. Though, so does 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 Vince have control over Taker? That's a good question. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, my good friend, sign us away, my friend. All right. Well, that is our episode for this week. So, um, until you hear or see from us again, this is Taken Above Save the Universe, and you've been saved from our, by our friendship. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, until you see or from us again, thanks for watching, and we're now or t- thanks for listening, whatever, watching, listening, whatever, same difference. And we're now signing off.